Hey y'all, this is uh, Chuck, and uh, let me watch the lens on. I know I ain't done a video on the free energy stuff in a while and everything, but you know, right now I'm on kind of like a sabbatical. I really need one. But <clears throat> that's why I'm here. I can go ahead and uh, I've really been thinking about it a lot and everything. I mean, I've been through the Palmer Newman. I mean, they're all the thing. Well, what I want to do is combine all these technologies. Now, like the Tesla Tower, with the symbol there, and then I convert it. You know, just let the DC pulse through the spark, which actually makes the AC component. But it goes through the uh, transformer, and I just stepped it down because when you step it down, the high voltage from static right out the air can. If you can step it down. It's going to be a lower voltage, but far more current. So it's all, but all, that's all about impedance. That's what I've been trying to tell now for a minute. Is about the impedance ma matching. Every system of energy has a certain impedance. It's got an input impedance and an output impedance, and so you got to match those two. No matter what it is, you have to match the input impedance and output impedance to what kind of energy conversion you want to convert from you know like light to uh, electricity there's going to be you find whatever material or whatever there is it has the least amount of resistance between the two systems which is that is what impedance matching is so over the next like 24 hours I'm about, I'm about to like show y'all how we can make some free electricity for real. Peace.